you know, and it's not even subconsciously, you know consciously, this is not the life wow. mm. for me. But you don't know what to do with your pain. Mm. The pain that you're not willing to transform, you will ultimately transmit. Mm. And if you don't know where to place that pain, if you don't know how to give voice to that pain, where does it go? Yeah. And so when you see people doing the things that they do, don't judge the what. Yeah. Mm. Find out why. Mm. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Find out why. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was in an insurmountable amount of pain mm. that I couldn't give language to. Yeah. All of the guys that were with me, all of the people who were buying drugs, and they were every color, every shape, every creed, didn't matter. We were all in pain. I, I, there was a woman, uh, she was a nurse, a registered nurse, uh, but she had uh, formed an addiction. Yeah. She was very beautiful, and, and she got to the point where I couldn't recognize her. Mm. Wow. She came up to me one day, and I really didn't recognize her. I actually drove her home because I was so concerned for her well-being. Mm -hmm. I said, we got to get you some help. <laughs> I mean, think yeah. about it. I'm the one doing it. <laughs> wow. and I'm saying That's I got to get you some help. Right. And on the way home, I asked her, I said, why are you out here? You had this great job. What are you doing? And she said, we're all addicted to something. Yeah. Changed my life forever. She said, mine is just crack. Yours is power. Wow. Whoa. Perceptive. And I said, oh my, I never heard anybody articulate that before, mm -hmm. that this is my addiction. Wow. Mm -hmm. I, this is how I'm voicing my pain. Mm -hmm. Wow. By having this power over painful people. Mm. Gosh. And it totally, totally changed my perspective on what I was doing. Mm.